Castro, when are you fighting next? Uh, I fight April 8th in San Antonio, Texas on the Jesse Rodriguez card. Perfect. You're fighting on Bam Rodriguez's card. Are you excited not just for this fight, but about the possibility of being a 10-round boxer in the future? Uh, most definitely, uh, step by steps. Um, I'm gonna, we're gonna get there. We're gonna, uh, when we get there. We're just gonna dominate. How do you, like obviously Eddie Hearn and Matchroom have done a great job promoting you. How do you feel about that level of promotion and the level of star you have built with kind of your promoter to this point? I'm just grateful uh, to pick the right promoter and uh, to be a Matchroom at this time. And I'm just uh, grateful because it's all glory to God. Like uh, because that that makes a big difference being with the right promoter. Uh, and then they promote you well. You get on the right cards and. Your, your exposure is, is there for the people. What would your advice to young fighters be, maybe ones that are going to the Olympic trials right now? What would you tell them when they're looking at managers and promoters? Uh, just just weigh all options. Uh, go, where you feel, go where your gut feeling, go where you feel comfortable, and just uh, study, study like promoters and study like networks and network deals and know how much longer a promoter's gonna be with a certain network or Wherever you want to, wherever you want to go with your career, especially too. Emmanuel Navarrete, is that a fight you'd like in the future? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm a fighter, so I'll fight anybody, especially the champion. So when, when we get there. Um, but yeah, Navarrete is a good champion. He's three-way world champion, so that's a, quite a resume. I just feel like from a fight fan perspective, that's a fight that I'd like to see you in. That's a long reigning champion. And you being a young fighter, a, a talented fighter with deep amateur background, I'm not a professional am I get hit by a basketball and I didn't break my stride. Yeah. Um, with someone with such a pedigree like yourself, I always like seeing a long reigning champion have to defend against a young emerging contender with such pedigree. So I just throw that out there because I think that would be fun for the fight fans to see. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, Navarrete is a... Uh, I guess like a fan for Lisao because he's always getting finishes and stuff, and he's been he's been around, he's been dominating. He came on the scene and he's still there, so why not? Okay, and how far do you think you are from these like big step up fights? Um, I think one or two years. Yeah, most definitely. Yeah. So is the goal to have like a really big fight in the December area? Uh, yes. Uh, uh, not being injured free, yeah. Uh, maybe like three or four more fights. Yeah. Okay, you gotta yeah. pop an IG, tell people where they can follow you on this. Follow me at Market Boxer. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you want to continue to see videos like this one, go to OnlyFans.com slash ITR Boxing. We have a ton of content there, and it's really, really easy to see weekly, never-before-seen videos, some editorials in video form. We have a ton of content that's exclusively over there. And two times a month, we're bringing you full-length documentaries or quarter-length, about 15 to 20-minute documentaries for our OnlyFans. So really go check it out and see what all the buzz is about.